Birdiem's second uh, arrival. Um, he says mission because you know he'll break this cross and break this and uh, kill the swine and, the, uh, okay. and kill the jizya and, and polish the jizya. Be beauty be beautiful questions. These are beautiful questions. And we have we have multiple volumes written by our scholars on these very topics, debunking Mirza Ghulam Hamd Qadiani systematically. My question to you is that why do you want to indulge in these questions and, and, and pass Mirza Ghulam Hamd Qadiani in his character? You see, for, uh, uh, let me explain why I'm I said that. Okay. I'm learning from you. Okay. I'm learning from you. You so, told so me I'm, what I'm, you believe. I'm, so I'm going to teach you now. My belief about Mirza Ghulam Hamd Qadiani. No, 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 I said Dajjal. The concept of the that, To me, that's Mirza Ghulam and Qadiani. He's one of the Dajjals. No, no, no. So, so you asked me about the Dajjal. Okay. The concept of Dajjal in Islam, it, it goes as follows. The Prophet Sallallahu he told us there will be 30 Dajjals. Yeah. Okay. Each and every single one of them will claim to be a Prophet. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is one of them. So let me explain the concept of Dajjal. You asked me about Dajjal, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me answer now. This is, so there is Dajjal, the Dajjal, who will come near the end of times. One-eyed Awar, we have plenty of reports from the Prophet His profile is very clear in the Hadith literature. Then there are the Jals, the Jaloon, the Jaloon. Who are the Jaloon? Many the Jals or many liars. Okay, those are the, uh, those thirty false prophets, imposters who will come after Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as he declared in a Sahih Hadith that thirty people after me will come and claim prophethood and they are the jals they are liars now amazingly mirza ghulam ahmad qadiani in the 19th century no no i'm not uh, asking about brother wait let me what is okay, the what is the hadith be consistent okay. with the hadith well, what is the jal is mirza ghulam ahmad qadiani no, no, according to hadith he's one of the jals i'm, no, I'm saying i'm claiming i'm not asking who i'm claiming he's one of the jals i mean the by the way this is not an insult this is not to hurt Okay, 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 okay. Are okay, okay, okay. oh, you claiming I'm the Jal? Okay, good, good, good. No, I'm saying, look, look, look. Claim good, it. good. You want to claim that? You want to claim that I'm the Jal? No, no, you look, listen, listen. Now, now that you're claiming that, I'm, okay, brother. Now that you're claiming I'm the Jal. Now you just, no, no, wait, wait, wait. You said I can say you're the Jal about me, yes? Just the way you're Okay, now, 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 I would, I will ask you, I will ask you, brother, if I'm the Jal. Audu billah, thumma audu billah. Then you need to prove to me that I am the jal, so that I can make toba. So I can make toba. Yeah, Allah forgive me. I don't want to be the jal. I don't want to die I'm and go to Jahannam. Okay. So, but I am claiming Mirza is the jal. So you should ask me, brother. That's a very serious claim about a man who has millions of followers, right? So why would you claim, brother? No, 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 don't, no, 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 don't, 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 don't do this. Don't do this. This waste time. This waste time. No, no, no. Don't, don't ignore. Ignore. Be, be extra gentle with these people. They will look for this. They, they look for this, by the way. So don't do this. Don't do this. You should know this. You should know. This. They look. They like commotions so that they can run away from these discussions. I'm not asking you who the jal is. Who is the jal? Don't pick fine fingers. Uh, Listen. Okay, okay, guys, 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 guys. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, I'm claiming was no, I'm not asking who was, the jal is. I'm was, asking what was, is the jal? The jal of the highest grade. You the hadith. You bring the hadith out. Okay. Bring I will. Hadith out. I will bring the hadith out. Bring the hadith. Okay. Okay. I will bring the hadith for Qadianis. No, for Amas. Oh no, no. Hadith. Is Mirza a prophet? Yes, yes. Yes, he's a prophet. Yes. Prophet. Allah. And every everything he said is hadith to you. Yes. Yes or no? Yes, it's true. Yes, yes. Yeah. So everything Mirza said is a hadith to them. No, I'm not. Can can hadith be a lie? No. Can hadith be a lie? No. Or can a prophet be a liar? No. no. Okay. No, 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 no. no. Wait, wait, I'm brother. From brother, from one second. You okay? What, what, to you, Mirza is your prophet, right? No, no. He's you asked yeah, me for the hadith from about from the jal. You asked me about a hadith about what the jal, no, and I'm going to present it. Okay. How about Mirza? His words. You don't accept him. You don't want. You don't accept him. You don't accept him. I using him. I okay. I. Why are you? Why are you using Hazrat Islam as the criteria? Why? We don't Why? accept him. Just like the Christians, you, just, just like the Christians run from the Bible, <laughs> just like the Christians run from the Bible, they're running from the Prophet. Use Muhammad okay. Okay. okay, okay, one second. Why are you using Hazrat Islam as criteria? Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is a prophet to them, is a prophet to them, and they said present a hadith about the Jal. So I'm presenting a hadith about the Jal from Mirza, and 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 the hadith, the hadith. 
from Mirza hadith when I say hadith hadith for them because he is their prophet for us for us this is <laughs> okay so what brother 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 one second let me finish and you can respond I'll stop I'll read it I'll stop and you can respond okay so Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani who is a prophet to them in one of the, his hadith one of his reports or one of his sayings which he himself wrote and there's no doubt that he wrote this because they're the ones publishing it and giving it to us so in his book Rohani Khazain Rohani Khazain Rohani his hadith Mirza's hadith no no these are Mirza's words that's the hadith Mirza brother 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 is Mirza a Nabi or not is Mirza is Mirza Qadiani your Nabi yeah he's a prophet to you okay his words are hadith to you or not in a way yes in a way his his companions are sahabis to you or not Yes, yes, in yes. a way, in a way, in a way. So you have the same terminology? Probably. That's fine. Yeah, so they have the same, yeah. yeah yes, Muhammad okay. Salaam, so this yeah. is the hadith of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Go, go. And as I said, a hadith can never be a lie and a prophet cannot no. be a liar. No. No. Yes? No, yes. Yeah. Everyone no. agrees? No. No. Agreed. Yeah, I can't hear you. Yes. 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 Everyone agrees? Yes. Yes. This, no, who, they don't agree. But who wrote this book? <laughs> who wrote this book? I'll, tell, I'll show, show you. No, who, who wrote this book? I'll show you. Now how can it be hadith? Okay. If this... If Hamid Ghulam Ahmad wrote himself, then it can't be a hadith. Why not? Wait, Is Muhammad he not a prophet? No, but, okay, Is so he a prophet? Did, As his words, hadith. But did Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam write any hadith? Brother, brother, brother. Did Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam write any hadith? Do you not understand what I'm saying? Is no. Mirza a Nabi? Yes, but if this book is written by him. Okay, let's go step by step. Polite, politely, politely. No, but step by yes, step. Yeah, he's a prophet. Is, is a prophet. Yeah. His words, whatever but, he wrote but, but to you, to you, is it a hadith or not? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a hadith. If he writes, right? Brother, brother, he's a prophet to you. Whatever he wrote, and you can authentically trace it from him, okay. as you have done. Okay. okay so what does is it? Mean? Is it? Does it? His teachings, okay. his writings, do they have the level of hadith to you or not? Now, what does hadith mean? Hadith means word of the prophets. The word of the prophets. Yeah. But it doesn't mean he wrote himself. Yeah. Brother, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Go, go, go. Yeah? Yeah, okay. okay. So I'm gonna read Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani's hadith. Yeah, now, hadith, okay. Like so now, now we will have to agree on a principle before we move on. You know, you look like a decent gentleman. Okay. So, so I want to be very, you know, gentle with you. Just move step by step. Can a prophet lie? No. Can a prophet lie? No. 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 Can hadith be a lie? No. No. Can the words of a prophet be lie? Can the words of a prophet be lie? No, no, no. No. Okay. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani wrote, and the quote is Rohani Khazain, uh, volume 6, page 337. He wrote that there is a hadith in Bukhari which talks about, I'm going to read his words in Urdu and translate. Mathalan, Sahih Bukhari ki wo hadith in jin mein akhri zamane mein baas khalifon ki nisbat khabar di gai hai. For example, in Sahih al-Bukhari, there are reports whereby news of Khulafa or Caliphs near the end of times have been given. Khas kar wo khalifa jis ki nisbat Bukhari mein likha hai ke asman se is ki nisbat awaz aegi. In particular, that khalifa about whom Bukhari has written or in Sahih al-Bukhari it is written that from the heavens a voice will come for this Khalifa. What will be the voice? Hada Khalifatullah al-Mahdi. This Khalifa of Allah is Mahdi. Ab socho, ab socho. Brother, you said you will not speak. Let me, no, no, wait. Brother, 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 stop. Why is it pinching you? Why is it pinching you? Stop, let me finish. Let me finish the quote. Let me finish the quote. I'll let you speak. No, let no, me finish. No, let me finish the quote. The let me finish the. Muhammad let me finish the quote. Do you let me finish the quote. Who let me finish. Do you okay. Ab socho. These are the words of Mirza. And they, they don't like the hadith. They don't like the hadith of the prophet. You are following random They don't like the hadith of the prophet. Who is your scholar? Brother, let me finish. No, 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 no. You're going against the Ab socho. Ab socho. Ye hadith kis paya aur martaba ki hai. So he's saying now think about this hadith. How authentic and how high the status of this particular hadith is. Which is in where? Sahih al Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih al Bukhari. And then he says, he tells us what is Sahih al Bukhari. Why? Jo aisi kitab me darj hai, jo asal kutub baada kitab illa hai. 
because this hadith is found in the most authentic book after the book of Allah. Okay, okay, okay. So Mirza is now saying that there are reports in Bukhari about Khulafa coming near the end of time. Yes, and there is one particular report, which is already here. one particular report, is already there is one particular here. report in Sahih al Bukhari. There's one particular report in Sahih al Bukhari. He's not going to let me speak. He's not going to let me speak. There is one particular report in Sahih al Bukhari which has this wording Haza Khalifatullah al Mahdi. Now, 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 I'm talking to you. You need to shut him up. You need to shut him up. Are you older than him? 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 Brother, please. Okay. We are one under one Umar. So, so, so there is a decent guy. You are decent. The point is, the point is, can you show me these words in Sahih al Bukhari as Mirza claimed? Otherwise, Say these words. Yeah. I can read this. I can read this. Okay. I'm, no, 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 no. So what do you say? Well, can you repeat what it says? How do you know? Is it in front of you? Brother, I was, I was speaking for the last five minutes. You're not listening, are you? I don't know what you're saying. Okay. This is the original scan from his okay, book. Okay, no, leave this. Leave this for now, yeah? Can we leave this? This is the original reference. <laughs> yeah. the actual scan from the book published by the Qadianis. Let me okay. ask a question. Here. Okay. So he's saying there is a hadith in Bukhari, yeah. Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay. And these words are there in Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay. okay, now I want you to find those words. Hada Khalifatullah al Mahdi. These words, he are, he's attributing them not even in Urdu, in Arabic. He actually gives the words in Arabic yeah. that these words are in Sahih al Bukhari. Yeah. Now you're going to have to show me those words in Sahih al Bukhari in any of the Nuskha, any manuscript, any print in the entire collection or collections of the Muslim world. Okay. If it's yeah, not lecture. there, give a lecture, man. if it's not there, brother, you if it's not you there, give a lecture now. Okay, no, you, I'll let you speak. I Did you get my question? I understand. What That's why I believe it's the jal. That's why I believe it's the jal. <laughs> so, so you asked me about a hadith about the jal, and I gave you a hadith where I showed you why Mirza is the jal. He lied. There is no hadith in Sahih Bukhari no, so with this wording. Hada Khalifatullah al Mahdi. It doesn't exist. It's not found in any of the nusakh no. of Sahih. Al if that's true, what I'm saying, you should be concerned, you should be shivering. You should be shivering. Really? Really? If you were sincere, you would think, really? Is that is that true? But listen, that's not my but, question. But I don't see that from many, most Qadianis. But that's not my question I yeah. asked you. Yeah. I, I said I want, I'm here to learn from you. Okay, I just posed the question. And you went on to you went on to rant about this. Listen, okay, okay. Something. So now I, I'm asking a question. I'm can asking you, question. Can you, can you, if, if this hadith is not in Bukhari, if these words are not in Bukhari, what does but that I, make? I, I, I'm not too sure about the context about this. Yeah. So I've never, I've never Con read context. It okay. Good. You're good. No, at, least, at least you're listen. interested. At no, least listen. you're interested. Okay. okay. Here, here's the context. Context is this page. Okay. This, the original page. Yeah. Okay. Give it to me. This uh, is no brother. Take a picture I'll read of it. it. I'll read it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm giving the reference. I'm and and if this is true, and if this is true, the reference is Rohani Khazain, Volume Six. Page 337, Matbu'a London. The Rohani Khazain you published in London. The, I'll, I'll Brother, okay, okay, okay. What is my question? Let me picture. The original, the original, yeah. Yeah. That's the original. Take the picture of the original in case your teachers turn around and say that it doesn't exist. Okay. Okay? So now, my brothers, no, my so, brothers. So, so okay. Listen, I'm here to so my, I, yeah, good, good. Okay, I've raised so, a question okay, now. Please, okay, please explain to me. Mm -hmm. The concept of the jal, what, what, uh, what, according to Muhammad Sallam, first of all, go on, explain the concept of the jal and his donkey. Please explain to me the concept is, of the jal and his is, donkey. Okay, I said, I said, there is no. I advise all Muslims in the world, do not indulge with Qadianis on any other topic except Mirza himself, because the whole house of cards built by them is for Mirza. If Mirza does not stand the test of scrutiny yeah. as a truthful man, as a moral man, the then law. there is no discussion. So why are you All hiding? Muslims of why the world never indulge with the, the Qadianis on any topic other than Mirza and his character. Yeah. If Mirza is a truthful man, truthful if Mirza, man, if Mirza so was not a liar no. and not a, a, a vulgar, not a vulgar man, then we you have other right. conversations. If right. Mirza is Listen, not those I things, I asked you a question. You keep running away. Said, I'm not, I'm not going to have any other discussion with you. Mirza, Why? Mirza, your prophet, your prophet. Before Mirza, you need to know Mirza, the I'm saying he's a, he's a Dajjal. You need to understand the concepts which are uh, before 
you get onto your husband's ghulam and his claim. Okay, so Harzam, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, why did you call him that? Okay, but wherever you want to Brother, yeah? brother, I just gave you something. You, you ignored it. You, are you are you completely blocked and, and sealed? Are you here to answer my question? No. Okay. Brother, brother, if I brother, if I brother, if I, brother, brother, if I told you I if, if, if this was said to me about my prophet, that your prophet lied, and I would I you know I'm so confident. Says, no, 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 I am so confident. I would come to the Christians. Show me. Show me. And and let's discuss it. These guys they, I, 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 I put the whole story to them. Oh, let's go to the jail. Let's go to the jail. They don't care. They don't care. They're blocked. They're completely sealed. So can you talk to me about it? If those words are not in Bukhari and your prophet claimed that they, those words are in Bukhari. No, 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 no. I, I'm saying if, if that's the case, what then are you going to come to Ahl Sunnah? You're going to, uh, you're going to become a Muslim or not? I need to read the context. I need to read the context. If what I'm saying is true, if what I'm if what I'm saying is true, would you leave Sunnism then? Hundred percent. What are you saying? That Mirza is a prophet. If you prove that to me, hundred percent. If you prove that you're saying Mirza is a prophet, I, if if you prove that to me, if you prove that to me, I will accept. But if I show you otherwise, is Isa a prophet? Brother, brother, is Isa a prophet? Brother, brother. What I said to you, if it's true, will you leave no, no, Ahmadi? No, 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 you, will you leave Ahmadi, Ahmadi religion? Will you leave Ahmadi religion? Yes or no? no but listen to this. He's if not Isa, listening. If he's our prophet. He's not listening. No, Brother, I'm, I'm asking if, I, if what I said is true about yeah, yeah. Mirza, that he lied. He you lied from his backside. If, okay, wait. He lied. He made something up. He made something up. And if that's true, will you leave Ahmadi religion? That's what I'm saying. I'll go research it. Brother, if, okay. Research, research, research. But if what I'm saying is true, if what I'm saying is true, will you leave, will you leave Ahmadi religion? Brother, I'm not going to leave you guys alone. I'm not moving on. I am not moving on. I'm not moving on. If what I'm saying is true, will you leave the Ahmadi religion? If what I'm saying is true about Mirza, if this was happening to me, uh, I would not come out of my house at least for a month. You said if this was happening no to me, and I'm not here humiliating these guys. I'm not doing that. I, am, I want Ahmadis, the Qadianis, the masses, the people to see this. To see this is how these people are. Okay. I came it's to it's learn brother, from you, yeah? if what I'm saying is true, I'm coming to learn from you. Brother, forget this. What, I'm coming to learn I, I, from you. I'm teaching you. you if nothing. I taught you something about your prophet, you that he lied, that he lied, yeah. and if that's if 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 what I'm saying is true, if there's a big if, I have I I must have guts to claim something yeah. that Listen, that 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 has the potential questions. of not being true. But I'm so questions. confident, yeah. I'm so confident that I am I'm 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 poking you on this for a reason. If what I'm saying is true, said, will you Allah leave Ahmadi religion? Why is he not saying yes? Why is he not saying yes? No, no, he can't prove nothing. He doesn't know. He's saying he's going to do research. I'm saying if what I said, Qadianis, Ahmadis, Ahmadis, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to speak to you. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. No, no, I asked him. Would he, would he leave Ahl Sunnah? He, him, said, he said yes. No, I asked him He's asking the same question. I asked him, I teach me the concept of the Dajjal. No, right? right? He's blocked. He's blocked. You no, said if He's blocked. You can't hear me. I asked him. I asked him would because he leave Ahl Sunnah? He, he said yes. I, and I gave you, a, I gave you an example. I'll give you an example of a Dajjal. And you're not listening. You're not listening. You're rejecting my example. You're saying no, no, no. No, no, no. no. You, you hop, you're, you're jumping over there. Okay. That's what it is. No, no problem. No. Don't worry about it. I understand. I fully understand. I fully understand their situation. They will not. They will not. They are, they are completely blocked. Sorry? The, the religion. <laughs> the, it, it came from. It came from British India. It came from British India. British India. I mean, they had something to do with it. Okay. So, 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 so we're going to ignore that. This is, this is, this is usual for Speaker's Corner. Fights kicking off. We're not here for fights. So, as you saw, any Qadiani missionary or semi-missionary or semi-semi-missionary, they will never answer straight questions because they know once they get trapped, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was an outright liar. Outright liar, a brave liar, a shameless liar. Okay, I have no doubt that he was a Dajjal, he was a liar. Okay, now if you think I'm wrong, answer my question. Are these words in Sahih al-Bukhari? Hada Khalifatullah al-Mahdi, Rouhani Khazain, 
volume 6, page 337, Mirza claimed, Mirza claimed these words are in Sahih al-Bukhari. They are not to be found. We go to Christians. There are verses in the Gospel of Matthew and they claim that these are prophecies. We go to the Old Testament, we don't find them. We don't find them. So we ask the Christians, where are these prophecies? Where are these prophecies? They have no answers. So we, we, say, we do the same thing to them. It's like Rasulullah, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam claiming something about someone and we don't find any example of it. How, is, how does that make sense? Right? So these people, they are completely lost. May Allah guide them. I'm talking to the Qadiani audience out there. My brothers and sisters, Qadiani, Ahmadi, brothers and sisters in humanity. Don't listen to your marabis, your missionaries. They, some of them are evil liars, evil liars. Some of them, I'm not saying all of them. Some of them may be genuinely misguided. But you, the masses, the people sitting in the masjid, right? Sincerely praying to Allah. Okay, we are reaching out to you with love and compassion. Don't follow a liar. Don't waste your lives. Don't go to Jahannam willingly. Don't dive into Jahannam while you know. Don't take this lightly. These lies, these claims are not to be taken lightly. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was a foul man. He used foul language. He was such a hypocrite that he himself was condemning actions and then did them himself. I gave an example earlier from his own writings. Okay, can I pass this on to you very quickly? Put this mic on. I've, I've run out of mic space. Okay, right. So there is this thing I want to put out to all Qadianis, all Ahmadis. I want you to go and check this out. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani in one of his books, which is titled Cheshmai Masihi, Cheshmai Masihi, the stream of Messiah, the stream or the river of the Messiah, Cheshmai Masihi. In that book, page 346, here, the actual original scan from the book. I'm not making this up. And the point, you know, the, the arrow is pointing to the actual quote. It's here, right? Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani talks about Isa alayhi salam, Jesus. Now, why am I telling you this now? So that you know how inconsistent and how much of a madman this person was, okay? He says about Jesus Christ, and I will read in Urdu. I thank Allah that I know Urdu. Maybe Allah taught me Urdu for this, okay? He says in Urdu, in his book, Chashmai Masihi, page 346, he states about Jesus, Magar khud is qadar badzubani mein bad gaye, Jesus became so foul in his language, Jesus became so foul in his language, ke Yehudi buzurgon ko waldul haram tak keh diya, that he called the Jewish elders waldul haram or waladul haram, in Urdu, we read it Waladul Haram. In Arabic, Waladul Haram. Okay? So he wrote, Yehudi Buzurukon ko Waladul Haram ta keh diya. Then he goes on to say, Or har ek waz mein Yehudi ulama ko sakh sat galiyan di. Or bure bure unke naam rakhe. That Jesus in his speeches, he swore at the Jewish people. Swore, swearing. Galiyan. Gali, gali means in Urdu swearing word, swear, swear words. He was swearing at the Jewish elders and he gave them bad names. Now, what does he say about this behavior? Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, who basically assumes himself to be better than Jesus and gives his advice on this, on this behavior. He goes, Akhlaqi Muallim, or Muallim, Akhlaqi Muallim ka farz hai ke pehle aap akhlaqe karima dikha de. So, a moral teacher it is befitting of him to demonstrate good morals himself. So what is he doing? He's criticizing the alleged behavior of Jesus Christ. That Jesus called Jewish elders Waldul Haram or Waladul Haram. This is bad language because he calls it Bad Zubani. In other words, bad language, foul language. This is not good behavior. It is not befitting of a good teacher to do this because a good teacher has to be an embodiment has to be an example of good behavior himself. Are you all with me? Yes? Right. So now, what does Mirza do himself? Mirza Saab, this false prophet, having said this, having talked about this in his own book, here I have the original scan with me, Rohani Khazain, 
volume 9, page 31, he states, and I will read in Urdu, what were the words he condemned from Jesus? What were the words he condemned from Jesus? Please say it. What were the words? The words he was condemning. Are you with me? Sorry? Wald al Haram. Can you repeat after? What words was he condemning? What words? It's a swear word, but you can say it because we're making a point. Wald al Haram or Walad al Haram. Yes? Is that clear? He writes about his opponents. Now he was condemning Jesus for using these words against the Jewish elders who were opponents of Jesus Christ. Yes? Allegedly. He uh, uses the same words against his opponents. Or Hamari Fateh ka kail nahi hoga, to saath saaf samjha jawega ke isko waldul haram banne ka shok hai or halal zada nahi. So anyone who is not convinced, convinced of my victory against the Christians in a debate, anyone who is not convinced of my victory against Christians in a debate, such a person has a desire to be waldul haram and he is not a legitimate child. He is not a legitimate child. Then on page 32 of the same book, same volume, he calls them Haram Zadeh. Haram Zadeh literally in Urdu or Persian it means a bastard child. So having condemned this behavior in the case of Jesus Christ or the alleged case of Jesus Christ, okay, the Qadianis can come back and say, oh, no, he was talking about the Christian literature, that the Christian literature has this about Jesus Christ and he's criticizing it. Okay, but he's also criticizing the behavior if that's the case, right? But then he indulges himself in the same behavior. Even worse, he uses very creative words in three different languages. In Persian, in Urdu, in Arabic. In Arabic, he uses the term Durriyatul Bagaya. In Persian, it's Haram Zada. Okay. Uh, and Urdu is the same, Haram Zada. This means a bastard child. Now, Mirza, the problem is, the, this Mirza, this guy, he claimed to be speaking from Ilham. Ilham means inspiration or a type of revelation. He even claimed to have revelation as well, by the way. Wahi. But he said, I spoke from Ilham. Every time I spoke, it was Ilham. So in one Ilham, he's condemning the behavior. And in, other, in another Ilham, Allah is inspiring him to use the same language, same bad behavior, which he condemned earlier. Is this a true prophet? This is a Dajjal. This is a liar who does not practice what he preaches. And the Quran says, Audu Billah Ibn Shaitan Rajim, Ya Ayyuhaladina Amanu, Lima Takuluna Mala Tafaalun. Oh, you believe? Why do you not practice what you preach? And he's preaching that this is foul language, this is bad language, it is not befitting of a good teacher to use such language and be an example of good behavior. And then he calls his opponents Haram Zadeh, okay, Zuriyatul Bagaya, bastard children, all sorts of things. So my brothers and sisters, the Ahmadis did not turn up today. Some of their boys, the kids turned up who don't know what they're doing, okay. The Ahmadi missionaries who are well aware of my presence, I made a public announcement on my Instagram, on my Twitter, on my YouTube community post and in my YouTube videos and my live appeals, or not live appeals, live streams, okay? That I will be in Speaker's Corner this Sunday with your books, the original scans. And if you are men enough, come and face me. And they are one of the biggest centers here in London. They have no excuse. They will not come because they know what I have come with. They know there is no defense. And my Ahmadi and Qadiani brothers in humanity and sisters, May Allah guide you. We have nothing but sympathy. And we pray for you that all of this exercise, it helped you understand certain things. And uh, I'm done with Qadiani, uh, you know, case. I'll move on. I have other things to do. Anyone who's sincere, having heard all of this, you still believe in Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is your prophet, then only Allah can guide. And Allah knows who deserve guidance, okay? as I would like to guide you and convey this message to you. But Allah also says in the Quran, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Inna ka la tahdi man ahbabta, walakin Allah yahdi man yasha, wa huwa a'lamu bil muhtadeen. That you cannot guide those you love, rather it is Allah who guides people, 
and he is best aware of those who deserve guidance or who are guided. So may Allah make you the guided ones and follow these quotes, this literature I have given you. And please, please look into it. Don't take this lightly. If Mirza has shown to be a liar once, then he's a liar. He's a liar. Okay? Because a liar cannot be a prophet. On that note, wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.